What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with brand new WWE action figure news for you guys. Got some interesting developments over the last few days, and I wanted to accumulate a little bit before I got, you know, enough to make a new style video here as we sit through it, man. So, buckle the hell up, man. We got some brand new WWE action figure news that we got to cover here on the channel today. So, buckle up, man. Let's go ahead and dive into it. So, starting off things first, man, we did have WWE Elite 106 go up for pre-order just the other day. Now, this is a wave that we saw back at San Diego Comic-Con just this past summer. It was a, you know, it was a big deal. We got to see some of the figures there, and we didn't get to see, you know, we didn't get to see these figures fully developed. You know, it wasn't like Elite 105 on display and whatnot, but we did get to see, you know, some prototypes. We got to see some new stuff about it. We got to even ask some interview questions about this wave, and we got to see the render shots of them besides two of the figures, and we are, of course, talking about WWE Elite 106 featuring Roxanne Perez. We have Paul Bearer. We have the Usos. We have Sami Zayn, and we have Chad Gay. Now, we did get to see, of course, this wave. You know, we got to see Roxanne Perez. Got to see her prototype and a render shot of her figure. She has, like, the stripe gear looking pretty good. We also got to see Chad Gable, who is going to match Otis, who is going to be in Elite Series 107. But Chad Gable looks really damn good. This looks like probably his best figure to date, especially with the updated stuff. You know, double-jointed arms, great head sculpt, all those different things. We also got to see Sami Zayn, which is pretty much like his Bloodline gear, right? His honorary Ooh Sami Zayn. I don't know if this is going to be, like, actually Bloodline Sami Zayn or if it's going to be when he broke away from the bloodline we'll have to see about that you know i can't really tell by the side of the gear but head scope looks good it is in his like cargo pants style stuff still going on and then we got to see the paul bearer figure which of course we got to ask bill about and steve at san diego comic-con in our interview process and we did get to see you know the paul bearer figure there had the new torso really large looking character there he looks really good got some new stuff going on there and it is a chase figure in that set so you get the navy blue suit and you get the black suit with the colorful tie should be an interesting figure when it is all said and done but the only two figures we did not see were the Usos and there's a lot of speculation on what the hell they're going to look like and in this little you know Elite 106 pre-order shot it does have them in their red We The One shirt now I do guarantee that we're going to get some cloth goods with these guys I think if they just redid their black shirts but gave us you know the red shirts all the white shirts that would be completely fine with me I think you know there there's so many things you could do there also you know you could put those on their Uso Ultimates especially if they do the non-Velcro like we saw with Solo Sokoa from Elite 104 I'm really happy to have the Usos in this way because there's so many different looks you can do for those guys and I'm excited to see if they give Jimmy and Jay brand new head sculpts now I could see them not giving Jay a brand new head sculpt because we just got a bunch of ultimate head sculpts we've seen him in the you know the top talents wave we've seen him in the SummerSlam wave or we saw Jimmy in the top talents wave but we all know about the head sculpt right the, the head sculpts for Jimmy have been off hopefully we get brand new looks for both of these guys and they look really really clean and good hopefully you know it's some good joggers maybe a sleeves maybe we'll get some new tattoos in there there's lots of things here they could add to the Elite 106 Usos to make them look great, but we don't know what they look like yet, but we do know they're coming, so that's pretty good, but I just hope Jimmy looks better, man. Updated Jimmy hair, make Jimmy's hair right, make his face right, give us a damn good Jimmy, man. Jimmy has been given the, the short end of the stick so many times before. Head sculpts, just, uh, it goes all the way back to Elite 54. That Elite 54 Jimmy Uso was atrocious. Nonetheless, man, Elite 106 is up for pre-order. You can go over there to Ringside Collectibles, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but I'm excited to get those Uso figures and find out what the hell they look like. Now, we have another thing developing here. Took to the forums, action figure attack. Steve Ozer did go in there. Somebody asked him a question here. Now, they left actually a bunch of different questions here, and I like that this person kind of put it out there. They kind of came right at him, right hot, and they said, Steve, just saw yesterday's reveal, and I'm excited for the Ultimates. Virgil Lawler, that said, I have some minor improvement suggestions. Number one, can Kurt Angle's torso get updated? This is suffering from Eddie's, Eddie Guerrero's problem, where it is too big. This torso should have saved for extra muscular guys like Warrior Batista Lashley. Can Kurt Angle next ultimate come with painted singlet? Just like perfect, this looks loose and will get worse over time. Three, Lashley. Can we use their most memorable attires when it comes to ultimates? I would have done Hurt Business. Same problem as Randy Orton's ultimate. Is that That's what I'm guessing. RKO ultimate. And then he says, can all belts going forward be shiny? Nicholas belt looks dull like the Usos and should be like Randy Orton's ultimate edition belt. So a lot to unpack there, but basically, I mean, he came at him with all kinds of hot questions there, but Steve says, the next time we get to a Kurt Angle ultimate edition we're shooting for a new unique singlet torso so that makes me feel pretty good right there even though I think they could get away with the cloth singlet I don't really mind this cloth singlet like I've said before I just hate the torso on the 
Kurt Angle. And we're going to fix up Kurt Angle, of course, when we get that figure in hand. But shooting for a new, unique singlet torso, I think, is the way to go, though. You can capture the perfect amount of musculature. You don't have to worry too much about it. Don't have to worry about the, so you know, the soft goods getting loose over time. I mean, lots of great things about a singlet torso there. You just can't pull the straps down, which is a whole other thing. I mean, that does bother me, but maybe one day, uh, you know, down the line, we can fix that up or have something nice. But I hope they wait for that, you know, that new singlet torso. I hope that's when the Unforgiven 2001 Kurt Angle comes, but I guess we will have to wait on that. But I thought that was a very interesting thing, and I wanted to put that up to you guys so you guys could uh, check that out. Next up, we do have the new four-pack. You guys know that we talked about that four-pack, the shiny Target exclusive 60 years, then now forever together four-pack. Well, the other day I went to my Target. You remember, I went and I found it, and I reviewed it on the channel, and then come to find out that it got recalled. We did a whole video on the pack getting recalled. Well, the other day I went to my Target, and they had the updated version of the box, so I do have new images of it here. Didn't toy hunt it because I was in a super hurry, so I just went and, you know, checked it out real quick. But they did have the new packaging. Now, the new packaging is just flat matte, and they did change the logos and different things going on. The first box set with the 60 logo was much better. It had, like, the shimmer to it. It was reflective. It was shiny. It had more shelf presence. You know what I'm saying? It looked like it could sell more units just because of the packaging. It stood out on the shelf. Now, I mean, it's a great big box set, so it kind of stands out anyways, but you are getting this, like, new graphics and flat box. Like, you're not getting the reflectiveness. It's very matte and plain Jane. It's kind of like they took the shimmer out of it. They changed the logo. It is just a WWE logo now, but, you know, it is what it is. The figures are there. They do remain the same. I don't think the figures changed it any way, but, you know, if you're one of those sticklers for collectors and you want, like, both box sets meant on card or, you know, you want a specific version, this version is hitting shelves, so you may want to go check that out and see if you can find that. It is hitting retail right now, especially with the Target reset. Should be out there. The Ultimate Edition Rock should be out there. The Legends figures, all those different things are hitting, so you definitely want to go get in on all that action. And then the last thing that I want to talk about here today, man, is going to be a basic set getting canceled. Yes, a WWE action figure set getting canceled. Now, I have no idea why this would be, and we're going to dive into some speculation and things of that nature here, but the WWE Basic Series WrestleMania 40 wave featuring Seth Rollins, Batista, Roman Reigns, and Muhammad Ali is getting canceled. Now, Ringside Collectibles posted up that they were going to be giving refunds out and all these different things, but I thought this was so interesting because it just kind of seems like it's coming out of nowhere. And You know, a lot of people were like, damn, you know, Mattel can't catch a break between like these things getting canceled and recalled and things of that nature but it is a full basic wave now it's very weird that it's a wrestlemania wave i mean i'm guessing that um, the only thing that i could possibly think of between all of this is that it has something to do with the muhammad ali and that's the only thing that i could possibly think of you know but uh, i know they want to get a lot of reuse out of muhammad ali you know he has a retro figure he has his ultimate edition i'm sure they're going to try to get an elite out of him and there's no telling really what this could be. That's just the only person that I would really think there would be an issue with would be the Muhammad Ali. Of course, he was going to have a basic figure. And you guys know that, you know, just like Mr. T, they're trying to get as much out of those head sculpts, as much out of those molds as they possibly can. That way, you know, they can save as much, you know, on the business side of things and the profit area and the money margins and stuff like that. They got to, uh, you know, they, they want to get as much reuse as possible so that they can stretch that mold out as, as long as possible to get as much usage so that they're not wasting those opportunities, but I just found this very odd, and I, I don't know if we saw these figures. Uh, I don't believe we saw these figures back at San Diego Comic-Con or anything like that, at least off the top of the dome. I'm not recalling that, but I just thought that was very interesting that this wave did get canceled. And I mean, I guess it turned out for some people, because I remember people saying, like, why are we getting another Muhammad Ali and all this different stuff? Well, Brad, you got your wish, I guess, because this figure is no longer coming to fruition, but I don't know, like, it is cool to see different, you know, characters and stuff like that in the line, instead of getting 152 John Cena's or, or rock figures or whatever the hell the case is, you know, I think that uh, this is okay. I don't really have an issue with getting Muhammad Ali in this basic set, but no longer coming to fruition, man. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, Brad. All right, I, I went back and looked and I don't see any of these figures, right? I don't see any of the uh, of those basic figures. So, I guess the render images were never released and that's the only thing I can think of. If anybody has some insider knowledge or anything on why maybe those WrestleMania basics were canceled, you guys can let me know down in the comment section below. Of course, we do have like, I mean, like Roman Reigns, what would he have been? Like, it is the WrestleMania set, and having Seth Rollins in there, I'm sure that it was going to be, like, maybe his Cody gear. Batista apparently was going to be, like, his WrestleMania 35 gear, I think. Or maybe, you know, we've already had a basic of that. I don't, I don't know, man. Maybe it would have been his match against Triple H. 
which we already got an elite form, so I guess they're going to make that in basic form, and then I guess we're going to have a referee basic of Muhammad Ali, but I don't know. It's not like an end-of-the-world scenario, you know? I do think it's weird, and if it was just one figure, why would they cancel a full wave? That's what makes it weird, too, is why would you cancel a full entire wave instead of just replacing the figure with, like, a repaint, or just give us three figures, you know? So I don't, I don't know what goes into that. I don't know all those back-end questions and things like that. Maybe I can find out some information at a later date, of course, but nonetheless, I think that is all of the news that we had today, man. I'd like to know all the stuff you think down in the comment section below. WWE Elite 106 Usos, really excited for those. New, unique singlet torso coming in the future, and that could go for a lot of people. And it does say the next time we get to Kurt Angle, so I guess the, they're looking to make another Kurt Angle Ultimate Edition in the future, so that is good. The box set for the Target exclusive, the then now forever 60th anniversary set. Packaging has changed and it is hitting retail. And then the WrestleMania 40 set has been canceled, man. But that is pretty much going to wrap this video up. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on all of this news down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts, what your feedback is of everything, what gear you think the Usos are in or what you hope to see them in and all those different things, man. But I'm getting the hell out of here. A huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys continued support. Love you guys so very much for all of that. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap the video up, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.